In today's video, I'll be showing you how I made these sunflower earrings using artificial flowers, some yard string. I purchased a yard string at Michael's. I purchased a sunflower at like an everything store. The fish hooks I already had and hot glue and gauge wire. So I'm not going to talk for this video. I'll just show you and speed up some parts when necessary. What I'm trying to do here is to put the gauge wire, form it in a circle, and be able to secure it to the earring somehow so that the sunflower can face forward. I didn't want it to hang down where it would be facing my shoulder. I wanted to be able to stand up, right? To stand and not move left or right, but to be secure in the position in which I want it to face. So it's a lot of me going back and forth, trying to figure out how can I get this to work. Something I've been wanting to make for the whole summer and I decided to take the opportunity to do so. I tried to get the gauge wire to be the same shape circle on both earrings the same size one was a little bit bigger than the other but it was fine what I did like about the backing of the sunflower earring is that it snapped kind of into place what the issue was that the gauge wire did not allow the back of the sunflower earring to sit nicely insecure periodically it would pop up and I didn't want it to fall apart on me while I'm outside living my best life okay so you'll just see a lot of this processing going back and forth trying to figure out how can I make this work I've actually gotten the backing of the sunflower to stay it's not popping off anymore I decided to make another gauge wire as long as I wanted my earring to be and hang was the length that I chose. I made a little loop at the end of that and it's going to hook through the loop on the circle gauge wire that I created. I did not have any circle hoops already that I could use. I didn't like the other one with the little circles connected to the larger hoop. So that's why I decided to create this myself. After making sure that's in there, I decided to take my yard string and just wrap it around that straight gauge wire. I made a little knot inside of the loop of the gauge wire. I'm going to repeat the process for both earrings, taking that yard string and wrapping it around the straight gauge wire. And I'm not securing anything with glue yet. What I like about the gauge string, it just can wrap and wrap and wrap around and I can add a knot at the other end to secure it. Please forgive me, I go in and out of frame. I actually was not at home recording this, so I'm working with the space that I have.
actually like the brown string. This particular pack that I brought from Michaels had three other colors in the pack, but I do like this brown color for the yard string that I'm using because it brings out some of the browns that's already in the sunflower, so it worked out well for me. figure out a way to make it all work out.
I'm searching for the fish hook that would work best, particularly the same color of the gauge wire that I am using or in the same color zone of the sunflower itself. So that bronze um, fish eye hook would be great. I don't even know if it's called fish eye hook or if it's called fish hook by itself. Nonetheless, it's the thing that goes in your ear that is connected to the earring. At one point in time, I had this all neat, probably never, which makes it easier kind of for you to find the color that you're looking for. They're all together in the little sections, uh, but they're not, so just got to work a little bit harder to find what I'm looking for. I'm actually going to take my gauge wire that is connected to the sunflower and make a little loop or circle using the pliers. Have the little wire cutter there, the thin pieces of metal. Well, messing around with them to see if you know they were something I could put on and wear now the uh, back of the sunflower that green part was popping off so I ended up using my hot glue gun to secure the uh, plastic down to the fabric I was concerned whether the hot glue gun would burn the plastic because it can um, I made sure I didn't press down too hard on the plastic so that it wouldn't come off. I'm using my silicone stir stick 
which allows me not to use my fingers so that I don't burn my fingers, which has happened before. So having that silicone stick stirrer is extremely helpful. It's come in a lot more handy, not just in acrylic pouring, but in, you know, putting things together so that they do not fall apart. So this was a simple fix and hack. I was going to try like E600 Fabric Fusion, but when I looked it up, I really didn't find anything that would bond like plastic to fabric. And so that's why I said, oh, I'll just use the hot glue gun. And it worked. I apply the hot glue for the majority of the backing of the earring because the glue spreads out once you press down on it I wanted to make sure it wasn't too much and wherever it oozed out from what I like about hot glue when it dries it becomes very stringy and you can literally just pull it off gently it does dry white so the goal is that if you see any stringy glue, you can just peel it off as you see me doing here. And as well in the front, it'll just come right off. I also glued down the middle of the sunflower just for extra security. I didn't want anything to fall apart. I have a smaller glue gun, but I couldn't find the glue sticks at the time. But for something that you need to get hot glue in and the space is small, you wanna use the hot glue that has a smaller nozzle, you know, just helping you not have glue oozing out of places that you don't want it to. I also glued down the piece of the yard material that was hanging and I also used the silicone stick to help me press some of that down. Now be very careful because when the glue dries on 
certain materials, it turns white. So when you do do that, if you're using a hot glue gun, try to make sure you only use a little bit because the rest will ooze out whatever's not being used and it will turn white. And it's hard to get certain materials that turn white from the hot glue back to the regular color. So I might have to just paint um, some of that string that I have there to cover up some of the glue residue that is visible. Very minor, but it's visible. Don't forget to click the link over there. I'll see you in my next video. When I tell you I love them and they are fun. <laughs>